Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. The next series of videos we do will be about flashing the iPhone 4 CDMA version to Cricket Wireless. Um, what we have here is kind of a best case uh, scenario uh, for the time, software version wise and carrier wise. This is a uh, Verizon iPhone 4 on system version 5.0.1 as we'll see right here under settings general about this is the latest version of software that can be uh, jailbroken in an untethered manner this means uh, the form will, the phone will function uh, pretty normal uh, when you try to reboot it uh, it'll just go through the normal reboot process even though it's jailbroken uh, if you had the latest version 5.1 at the moment you would have to uh, hook it to your computer every time you boot it so if you were out and about and it crashed on you and you needed to restart it, uh, there would be uh, no way to do that. Um, there's a, a plugin in Cydia called, uh, the plugin's called Semi-Tether. Uh, we did not have any luck uh, with it on this phone. Uh, we tried to use it and uh, the device would still not boot. So the first step is the jailbreak uh, process. We do have iTunes installed on this computer uh, that provides the drivers that are required we are going to go into the settings and then general we're going to change the auto lock to never so it stays on and the connection to the computer will not be interrupted uh, we're going to use a non OEM cable uh, if you have problems, you might want to switch over to an actual OEM cable. Put these two iPhones to the side. Then we're going to use Red Snow, the uh, latest version right here. If you have problems uh, running Red Snow, I go to the Properties and Compatibility, run the program as an administrator, and uh, set the compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. So we will go ahead and launch it, and then we're going to hit jailbreak. It's already uh, connected to our device. Uh, it's figured out what kind of iPhone it is, iPhone 4, Verizon Wireless, uh, 5.0.1. We'll hit jailbreak. So first it's going to want the device to be turned off. So press and hold the power button. Slide to power off. Keep in mind I'm a novice. I've only used the iPhone for about two weeks now. Uh, prior to this, I had really no knowledge of uh, iOS. So the phone's going to shut down. And now we can hit the next. It's going to give you step by step instructions. It's telling you to hold the uh, power button for so many seconds and then without releasing it, hold the home button which is the bottom center and then you're going to see the apple go away so you'll let go of the uh, power button and still home, hold the home button this driver uh, came up right now it's saying uh, no device detected but We'll just go through it again. It should be in that mode already. I believe the wait was because the drivers were installing. So let's go ahead and go through the, uh, the exploit process. So if you have problems, just run it uh, over again. This is only our first video in our series of videos of flashing the iPhone 4 to Cricut Wireless. Uh, this will be a full flash to include talk, text, uh, MMS, internet, uh, texting, all apps will work. Um, on our other iPhone we have PayPal, Pandora, uh, email, all sorts of things on it and uh, everything works fine including the App Store. Uh, we have full use of iTunes and everything. Segments of this process might be sped up just to uh, save time on YouTube so you guys don't have to uh, watch a blank or uh, the same screen all 
All right, so that did take a moment to uh, prepare the jailbreak. We will want to install Cydia, so we'll go ahead and click Next. You can go ahead and close Red Snow when you get to this screen. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have problems, you might want to try changing out the cables or changing the port that's connected to on your computer. Alright, now our device is jailbroken and Cydia is installed. Uh, one thing we'll want to do is get it on Wi Fi so we can download things from Cydia. Once that connection is up, we'll go ahead and go into Cydia. I just put hacker on it. When asked who are you, click done. Go down to open SSH access how to. Go ahead and click install the open SSH package. It's probably updating the packages right now, so we'll go back out and we'll click it again. We might actually have to reload Cydia. So it began the reload uh, process on its own. It just had to download all the packages. We're going to do the uh, complete upgrade. Confirm it. Restart Cydia. Click Cydia at the bottom. Back to the OpenSSH access how to. We'll install OpenSSH package. Go ahead and click install. CDMA tool will need this installed in order for it to connect to the device. In this little how-to, it also will uh, tell you how to change the root password if you want to. Uh, we're going to keep it the default until we uh, fully flash the device. Uh, I don't know if that comes into play or if it becomes a problem if you do change it. Uh, I just feel like it's uh, easier to leave it stock until I get the device exactly the way I want it. I'm going to search for a package called ISHSHIT. and install that. That warning there was telling me that if I want an untethered jailbreak not to update to 5.1. Your iTunes will probably prompt you to update it. Try to ignore it unless you want a tethered version where you're going to have to plug the device into the computer every time. I'm going to go out back to my home screen, launch ISHSH it, and I'm going to try to back up 
the SHSH blob. And unfortunately for this firmware, uh, Apple's no longer signing it, so I won't be able to back it up. You always want to try and back up your uh, SHSH blobs. Um, it really uh, should be covered in a, another tutorial, and there's a lot of information about it. Uh, if you just Google it, uh, there, it's very important to back up your SHSH blobs if you plan on modifying the device or uh, doing anything that could potentially uh, semi-break your device and you'll want to be able to restore a version of the operating system most likely that does not require uh, the phone to be tethered when rebooting. So like I said this is only part one of our tutorial uh, for backing up the, IS, uh, the SHSH blobs you could have also used uh, iFaith uh, so for more information about this please visit our website at cricketusers.com like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricket users and subscribe to our YouTube channel and just be on the lookout for uh, part two.